Hi guys, it's such a joy to be with you today and I'll tell you why especially. This is our 200th episode. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Wow. Fireworks. Yeah, yeah. all that kind of good yeah. stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a great accomplishment and it's a great time just to share with you. And it's been a joy to come into your home, your car, your workplace, wherever you may yeah. be, and share with you the things that God's revealing to us out of Proverbs and all. But let's dive into it. Let's look at it and see what it has to offer for us today because we're not done in the truths out of Proverbs here. Uh, chapter 31 and verse 30 and 31. And it says, charm can be misleading, and beauty is vain, and so quickly fades. But this virtuous woman lives in the wonder, awe, and fear of the Lord. She will be praised throughout eternity. So go ahead and give her the credit that is due, for she has become a radiant woman, and all her loving works of righteousness deserve to be admired at the gateways of every city. Wow. Good. You know, one of the things that, that I often talk about with guys is the fact of learning how to become your wife's chief cheerleader. That's so good. You know, yeah. where, where I champion every occasion I can. Hey, the meal was great. Hey, what you just did there, what you said, what you just shared, uh, the work that you do, whatever it has to do with. But that you champion those occasions because not only just to feed ego, but it's the idea that it's appropriate, it's yeah, right to good. do. Right, exactly. Because if I, you know, this, Jesus talked about it and said, you do unto others as you want them to do to you. So if I want others to be doing that back at me, I should be doing it to them. Exactly. And how much right. more so in our home. Yeah. You know, as we begin to praise and lift up. Besides that, I find women usually respond to that yeah. when they know it's real. Yeah, it's not, exactly. We're not talking about phony stuff here. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about real things that we compliment and just uh, admonish about how we appreciate what is being done about yeah. their lives. Yeah, exactly. I feel like women have been so attacked in mm -hmm. areas where it's, it causes them so many insecurities in right. life. And, um, you know, uh, such, and that's where it comes in handy, right? Where, where mm -hmm. that Gary's talking about is when we bolster our wives with confidence right. and in this kind of society that we live in, um, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it's hard you know when when life's going on and there's a lot of maybe issues happening mm -hmm. i always tell people hey just find one good thing that you can compliment just find right. just find one thing and start there but then it starts to build this habit right. and it starts to really what it does it builds this positive environment in your home right. so that when stuff does happen if if there's an emergency if but everything hits the fan, as we know the saying goes. Yeah. Um, there's been this environment, this positive environment that's already been created that mm -hmm. can handle something like that. Right. Plus, it's also very helpful for our children to see the same thing. Absolutely. They can learn yeah. to act that way. And one of the things I've seen over the years was in the fact that how dad treats mom is often how kids will treat mom. Wow, good. That's so Good true. or bad, yeah, you yeah. know, that way. Yeah. And so it's very important in how I respond with our wives and to treat them with loving grace and allow them to be who they are and to compliment them and build them up and be their cheerleader. Absolutely. And really yeah. be the one that champions that because my kids yeah. are watching. Get those pom-poms out. That's right. Yeah, very <laughs> good idea. That's a great idea. And so, so important and all to have that opportunity to be able to give it up. So. You know, don't don't give up. Don't throw in the towel and just say, eh, man, it's just too tough, it's too hard. Keep going Good. and trust God to do what he needs to do. You know, we have taken the opportunity of being with you 200 times now. And it's, it's a, a joy, seriously, <laughs> yeah, really on is. our part yeah. to do so. And we're glad that maybe we've deposited something that has been beneficial to you. I know it has for us. Tremendously, And it's yeah. been a blessing there. And we just simply want to say thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks for being a part of this discussion. As uh, And we're looking forward to the next phase of where we're going to go. We're going to move into the book of James and uh, kind of take it a little bit differently than we have with Proverbs and begin to explore it more by thought and paragraphs and all then verse by verse yeah. and all but we the lord's just placing some things in our hearts and we believe that it will be a benefit so look forward to seeing it soon as it comes out so that you can be able to take a part of it you yeah. want to close this in prayer Jacob? yeah lord we thank you for 
like Gary said, this opportunity to get around your word, to look at Proverbs and just extract everything that we can. Um, Lord, we just ask that these episodes could be a blessing to somebody yes. if they go back and watch and share. Who knows, God, what, what you know, the hope that you've instilled in your, in your word can do to somebody else. So, God, we pray that it gets out there and multiplies, yes. um, not because Gary and I need lots of views, but because <laughs> your word needs a lot of attention. Amen. And, uh, God, we just ask that your word would go forth just like the seed in Mark 4 and produce an amazing harvest in yes. people's lives. And as regarding to this last chapter, we just bless our wives. We yes. thank you for them. We ask that you'd bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us yes. for 200 episodes. We hope to see you for 200 more <laughs> in the future. We're excited to go into James with you. Uh, we hope that you'll join us. We'll see you next time on Epic Men.